Hi there, my name is Jen. Welcome to The Cup and the Pen. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the things that make it difficult for me to enjoy a book. I love books, I truly do, but not all books are perfect and not all books are meant for me. These are my book turnoffs, the things I don't enjoy when I'm reading. But to be clear, it's not a crime to enjoy these things as a reader or to include them in your book as an author. These are just my opinions. So let's get into it. We're going to start with a small one. I don't like when two characters have names that either look or sound too similar. One good example of this is Sauron and Saruman. They're just a little too similar, and unless I'm already incredibly familiar with the material, like the Lord of the Rings in this case, I'm going to have trouble remembering who is who. The next thing I don't like is when a chapter is only one page long. There's something about this that really truly bothers me, and I think it just throws off pacing. When I sit down to read, I want to get lost in the story, and if the scene or chapter I'm reading is too short, there's a chance that I won't be fully hooked by the end of it, and I'll either need to force myself to keep reading and hope that the next scene pulls me in, or I'll put the book down and try again later. I also don't like when there are zero character descriptions. I don't need a lot to be able to imagine a character, but I need something. Give me a hair color or eye color at a minimum, or tell me that they're tall and willowy or strong enough to lift a horse. When I only have a name and zero descriptors, I find it difficult to imagine the character, and I'll go through different versions of my mind until I settle on how I think they should look. But a single detail, like bright green eyes, is enough for my brain to latch onto a single image and stick with it for the rest of the book. Next. Books that are 500 pages or longer. I can read about 450 pages and really enjoy the book I'm reading, but I've noticed that once the page count extends to 500 or surpasses it, I quickly begin to lose interest. I've read a lot of books that are 500 pages or longer, and maybe it's just a case of bad luck, but I haven't come across anything that can keep me engaged for that many pages. I've also never read anything where I thought 500 pages were necessary to tell the story. Last on my list, the thing I can't stand the most is a cliffhanger ending. I absolutely hate cliffhangers. I've read a few books lately where the first book ends in a cliffhanger to create interest for the second book, and there's nothing that makes me want to read the next book in the series less than a cliffhanger. It's deeply unsatisfying to read a whole book, reach the end, and find out that the main conflict is not going to be resolved. It's just a whole lot of beginning and middle and no end, and to be honest, the middle is always the least exciting part of a book. So I want to be rewarded for making it through the middle with a killer ending, and honestly I would be much more interested to read the next book in the series if the conflict of the first book was resolved, because then I would feel like I could trust the author to pull off another great resolution in the second book, third book, and however many books they decide to include in that series. I'm going to end my rant there before I get any more carried away. If you have any book turnoffs, share them in the comments below. I love talking about books, and I'm really curious to find out what other people think about cliffhanger endings. Are they absolutely anger-inducing for you as well? <laughs> so if you're feeling one way or another, let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, why not give it a like? And if you want to see more bookish content from me, subscribe to The Cup and the Pen. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.